Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rishabh and in this video, we are going to take a look at the global snap settings in FL Studio. Now, if you're used to the way time divisions work in music, you might find the snap values in FL a bit confusing. So when you click on this drop down box over here, you have values starting from a bar, which is pretty simple. It's a bar without any further divisions. The next you have beat, which is the same as quarter notes. And then you have half beat, which are eighth notes, you have one fourth beat, which are 16th notes, and then you have step, which is the same as 16th notes again. And then you have half a step, which are 32nd notes. And then you have a quarter step, which is the same as 64th notes. Now, when it comes to triplets, you have value starting from a one third beat, which is the same as an eighth note triplet. You have a sixth beat, which is the same as 16th note triplets. Then you have one third step, which is the same as 32nd note triplets. And finally, you have one sixth step, which is the same as 64th note triplets. To make things simpler for you, I have made a table with all the snap values in FL and how they correspond to musical time divisions. You can find it in the description box below. And finally, you have uh, the line setting and the cell setting. And these two can be a bit confusing because when you select one of these, nothing really happens. Like the grid is still set to a 16th note resolution. But what these sort of do is change the behavior, especially while you're working with the paintbrush tool. So here's an example. Uh, I'm going to select the line mode and zoom into the grid. And while I'm within the cell, I'm going to say, click here. If you notice what it did was it dropped the sample onto the nearest line. While I was still drawing within the cell, uh, I was closer to this line over here. So it's going to start the sample from there. If I'm closer to this one, it's going to start the sample from that particular line. But if you set it to cell mode, no matter where you click, it's still going to start the sample at the beginning of that particular cell. So say I click over here, it's still going to start it from the beginning of that particular cell division. So I think that pretty much explains what these different snap values are. And now here's a bonus tip for you guys. Say you're on the playlist and you want to like zoom in, like really zoom in to a sample uh, and make some like micro edits. And this used to like really frustrate me a lot when I started using FL Studio because I couldn't zoom in like more than like this. And then I figured that all you have to do is uh, sort of go to options and you have project general settings over here. And you will see this time-based PPQ setting. Go and set it to the maximum resolution. So if you set it to 960, there you go. You can zoom in as much as you want. So that's it for this video. If you found this useful, give this video a like. That helps me reach out to more people. Also consider subscribing to the channel. I will be doing a lot more content based around FL Studio. And before I leave, I want to quickly plug in my one-on-one -on -one training sessions. I teach music production, sound design, and mixing over video calls. So if you're interested in those, do drop me an email. You will find my email in the description box below. All right then, bye.